It feels like you're in England. Yeah, it's yeah, like a manor house yeah, in England, yeah. and the scale is great. It's very beautiful. And of course, you know, I really love it this time of year because it's an old stone manor home. Yeah. And it just is so wonderful in the rain and in the snow. You know, it's just buttoned up and safe and cozy. And the scale of it's nice. And I've been working on the restoration and keeping the land intact and not allowing it to get developed. And we have a lot of. Uh, you know, a lot of deer, a lot of turkeys, a lot of wildlife that comes through there. And of course, there's been so much development in that area. I think uh, it's nice that the community is, is using the field in the winter, the cross-country skiing and all that, so it's good. And it sounds like you get really involved in your community, right? I've seen, like I remember seeing, a, you did a video for like the Kennebunk Arundel Chamber of Commerce two years ago, just telling people to social distance on 4th of July. And I thought, that was really cool of you to do it. It's just a little Facebook 30-second video. Right? Yeah, I mean, when COVID first came out, the, I remember within the first few weeks, I was shooting a project in New York, and we had to shut down on the 13th, and everything, we were losing locations. And I remember watching this video from a doctor who was working in one of the hospitals, and he goes, all you have to do is wear a mask, be smart about it. We're still learning about this, this virus, but if you can keep a mask on, we know it's airborne. And that was the first bit of information I got. And then, of course, that helped with the social distancing and, yeah. and then the community. And, and, and so specifically, why did you want to, I know you've been here before, but why did you want to uh, come back here today? What, what sort of drew you, I guess, to this, to the school and, and what they do? Well, I mean, look at where we are. I mean, this, this home was settled in the 1700s. And look at the positioning of this house and look at the positioning of the modern house. It's like a lot of the secrets and things that they were doing that were practical back then really apply to what we need to be focusing on today. You mean positioning it to the sun? Yeah, the yeah, sun. Yeah, so it's going to get sun all afternoon, yeah, and then um, the connection to the land is really important. And we've seen what's happened if we don't stay connected and listen to the environment. And in this way, we're showing what technology can do, innovation can do, in a sustainable way. And then being, you know, seeing these kids outside a classroom, but learning in nature, it really has a strong impact. And, and can I ask a little bit about the new uh, movie I noticed is, is coming out? Um, oh, Disenchanted, Disenchanted comes out Disenchanted, next yeah. week, I think. Yeah, with premiere. yeah. 18th. Um, yes. Yeah, and I, so I just wondered um, what it was like to do a sequel to a movie that's like 15 years ago. So to, to go back, because I imagine when you're doing a character, right? I mean, you inhabit that character for a while, but then 15 years later, you're trying to inhabit the same character? I mean, what was that like, I guess? It was a little easier for me in, in order to do that, but Amy was a different experience, you know, and also a different journey for Giselle. You know, she's not in Andalusia anymore. Yeah, she's yeah. in the real world and all of the, yeah. the good, the bad, and the ugly of what that brings up. So did you feel that way too, that it was, it was fun for you to make something like that? Yeah, when I read it, it was very special. Of course, this was the, at the very beginning of Amy's career to see her yeah sort of emerge yeah. and to explode from that film and then the, the films that she's done since then. Yeah. She's an extraordinary actress. And I guess I, I have to ask, because I, I know how much you love um, cars uh, and racing, so the Ferrari movie. Oh yeah, this and is an incredible that's experience. That's done now, is it? Or yeah, is I just finished a week ago. We finished our last shot. It was... Uh, Where were you? I was in uh, Modena, Italy. Wow. Yeah, so I was right in the... Wow. I had great food. Yeah. Um, and the area really actually reminded me of Maine quite a bit. Some of the vineyards and the farming, all of that, yeah. uh, and the smells, and, and how closely people live to the land and the tradition that they have with their farming, huh. and the multi-generational owners of those farms. It was really nice to see. And of course, working with Michael Mann, who's a master filmmaker, in Italy on a Ferrari project, driving these vintage cars around. I was around. gonna say, you get to drive, right? Yeah, the final day we did a 17, it was almost 17 kilometers. It was a track in one shot in the car racing as fast as we could go. And this takes place in 1957, the last race of the Mille Miglia. Uh, and we were in the, the 315 cars, which was the, the racing car that uh, Ferrari produced at the time. And we did this shot followed by a helicopter all afternoon, it was an incredible experience. So it was the best of both worlds. Yeah. And I know some people are gonna wanna to know if you're coming back at all to Grey's Anatomy. I know you've had, your character has come back. Well, yeah, we came back, but, certainly because of, uh, 
what was going on with COVID, yeah, it was a great yeah. opportunity. But I don't, I don't see how he could come back now. Yeah, so I don't yeah. know. I think it was a great way to end it, and we gave the audience and the fans something that they wanted in a surprising way. I don't know if we could do that again. And I think it's best to leave it as is. I just wondering what's, what's next for you. What, if you have any other, and not even just uh, films, but, but any other sort of big projects or things you're undertaking, whether it's... Uh, well, it's really great to get back to Maine, I have to say, and to see what's been happening with the center, with new leadership, the direction that we're heading. We've really emerged from COVID and the lockdown, a much stronger organization than we, we were at the beginning. Um, that's a real testament to the depth of the board and also the staff and the leadership. And, and we couldn't do it without the community. I mean, we had one of the best fundraising years, which was completely unexpected. And that's, you know, we're real, we're here to steward that and to, you know, take care of the community. And our community and our reach is broadening, which is good. We're, we're reaching more people earlier. We're getting to people um, all over the state and outside the state. Um, with the Dempsey Connects, that was a great breakthrough for us, which was really important. And then we're now starting to see people back in the center itself. So very proud to be a part of the organization and to be a part of the team.